So earlier on today, there was a new bill that was proposed. And if you didn't get a chance to go and watch that video, I highly recommend you go and do it. You can watch that video right there. Now, with that said, what was this bill? Well, this bill was introduced by Kevin McCarthy, the Speaker of the House. And this is called the Limit, Save, and Grow Act. Now, in this proposal, he is outlining $4.5 trillion in savings to the American people. But it was due to cutting costs within the federal budget. Now, I want to be very clear on something. By saving money, what Republicans are doing is they're asking Democrats to help them save money. In exchange, Republicans are willing to increase the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion or until March 31st of 2024. Again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go and watch that video. Now, when I made that video early on today, I got a lot of questions, got a lot of comments on the video, got a handful of emails, and the majority of the questions were, what about Social Security and what about SNAP benefits or food stamps, EBT? Well, let's address that. Because in that video, I talked about some of the cuts. I talked about how Republicans want to pull about $70 billion back from the IRS. They want to pull back in about $100 billion in uh, unspent funding for COVID, right? A lot of money there, okay? Right there, just those two things, $170 billion. But again, there's more money that is out there. It's just floating around. So let's get to the questions. First, in the debt ceiling, there's nothing specific regarding social security or food stamps. There's nothing. And the reason why there's nothing included in that is because in this proposal, all it is is a proposal. There's not specific language, which means he's not going in and saying we need to make cuts to social security. We need to make cuts to SNAP benefits. He's not doing that. Okay. He's not even going in and saying we need to increase revenue by uh, for social security or for SNAP benefits by doing this, this, and this. That's not in it. Okay. Those things, those are put together by the Congressional Appropriations Committees. That's who does that. They create the, the verbiage. So we know exactly how to interpret the new bill. Now, here's what you need to keep in mind. That the debt ceiling and the fiscal year federal budget, which has to be passed by the end of September, those two things are different. Okay, The debt ceiling tells us how much we can borrow. The federal budget tells us how much we are spending for that particular year. So they're two different things. Now, with that in mind, what you need to understand is that when it comes to Social Security or the SNAP benefit program, those things have to be figured out for the federal budget. But, and I've talked about this before, and this is why this is so important, is because we are trying to figure out how we can uh, improve Social Security, how we can ensure Social Security does not become insolvent in the next 10 years. Well, what do we do? Well, according to experts, they're all saying that lawmakers are telling them Social Security will get figured out. But in order to figure out Social Security, we first have to figure out the debt ceiling. But according to lawmakers, in order to figure out the debt ceiling, we have to agree on the fiscal year federal budget for 2024. Where are we going to see some spending cuts? So let's try to backtrack a little bit. Republicans just proposed their version of the debt ceiling, why they would increase it, what they want to see, what Democrats need to do. Well, that takes place in the fiscal year 2024 federal budget. So right now, what we are seeing is that everybody's looking at all these different things, Social Security, the federal budget, the debt ceiling. The first thing that needs to be addressed is the debt ceiling. The second thing that needs to be addressed is the fiscal year 2024 federal budget. The third thing, which won't happen until you know, pretty much 10 years, 9, 10 years down the road, is Social Security becomes insolvent. However, we need to deal with those issues today or as soon as possible. Now, as far as Social Security is concerned, some of the things that we are hearing is that there is going to be a mix between multiple different things. For instance, we will see the full retirement age increase. It's currently 67. It could be age 68, 69, 70. We don't know. 
They also are talking about raising the social security tax cap. It's currently $160,200. They want to raise it to potentially $250,000 or raise it so it, it cuts off at $160,200 and then there's a gap and then it starts again at four hundred dollars and goes to uh, whatever, right? They're also talking about raising the social security tax rate. Get that over uh, 15%. I believe right now it's a 12 point, uh, was it 12.4% now? They wanna get it up to, I think, 15.2%. So raise it just a little bit. And they're also talking about taxing the rich and also taxing large corporations. A lot of different things here. A lot of stuff to unpack. But what you need to keep in mind is that right now the negotiations are still very early on. Republicans just proposed their version of the debt limit increase. Now it's going to fall on Democrats to come back and do they want to negotiate or are they standing firm that no, there will be no negotiations. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out over the next couple of months. But in this whole negotiation, what we are going to find out is where are the cuts going to be? Because Republicans have said and made it very clear they will not increase the debt limit whatsoever. Not short term, not long term. They will not do anything for it if there are not spending cuts in 2024. So the good news there is there will not be any cuts in 2023, but we could see some next year. Now, when it comes to SNAP benefits, one of the big things that they're discussing is closing loopholes in specific states to ensure that those that are you know, somewhat working they, they, you still have to work to receive benefits. You can't just be you know, looking here and there. You can't be turning down jobs. You actually have to be looking for work, okay? The other thing is work requirements are going to be a thing. We know that. They're also, according to reports, talking about potentially uh, lowering the amount of money people get. But again, this would be after we see a potential cost of living adjustment for next year. So even though your increase would slightly go up, it would go up and then it would actually come back down due to an increase and then potentially a cut. Now, I haven't seen a lot of reports on this, but there has been lawmakers talking about cuts to SNAP benefits. But in again, this is where things get very tricky. One of the other things they're talking about is actually making that child tax credit payment a permanent fixture, okay? That would mean you would get, if you have a child between the ages of zero and five, you would get $300 every single month. If you have a child between the ages of six and 17, you get $250 every single month. That would be a permanent thing, not temporary like it was back in 2021. So that is what we are looking at right now. This new bill from Republicans, it's not something that I think is going to pass. Okay, absolutely not. It's not something that I think is going to be the, the, the building block of how they, they get to the agreement. What I do think this does, is it opens the door. It shows Democrats that yes, they did put something together, that finally they, they put it together. It's been, uh, they've been trying to get it done for the past month. Finally, they got something to show to President Biden. What he does from here, I don't know. But I do promise, as we get more information, I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.